What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we'll be talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Joker Folly I'll Do. We'll be talking about Five Nights at Freddy's and the release date that's now been confirmed. And we'll be rounding it out by talking about Shrek 5. So let's start off with Scream 6. The Gail Weathers fight scene with Ghostface is being nominated for Best Fight at the MTV Movie and TV Awards. Now as much as I'd love to see Scream 6 take home the awards it's nominated for, the other category I saw it was nominated for is Best Film. And Top Gun Maverick is listed there, so I doubt it'll take that title home. And when it comes to the fight sequences, which again, I am rooting for Scream 6, my dilemma there is I just see Vecna and Eleven in that category. So if Courtney Cox wins, I will genuinely be shocked because I just think that in the categories they've placed Scream 6 in, there are some worthy contenders in the mix. And I can see these other p other films and other uh projects being listed in these categories winning over scream six especially top gun maverick in the best film of the year category sure both of those are paramount projects but one made over a billion dollars while one hasn't even scratched 200 million worldwide yet i just think that that category for best film of the year is not going to happen for us but best fight i hope it gets that but with vecna and 11 making that or occupying that space i'm a little bit doubtful that it will but that scene alone was so emotionally charged and the dialogue hit all the right nerves to pull at the heartstrings of longtime fans like myself, Courtney's performance, the edge of your seat action, and the sigh of relief that came once Sam and Tara arrived is just one of the reasons it beat her chase sequence in Scream 2. Now, here's hoping that Scream 7 outdoes what 6 did and Gail's, and Gail's next encounter with Ghostface just ups the ante, but this nomination alone is something that i think courtney cox should be proud of i think everybody involved with scream six that helped make that sequence a possibility should be proud of it because people have been clamoring for something like this for such a long time and now it's being nominated for an award diving into joker 2 Joker Folly Adu has wrapped filming according to Todd Phillips who took to Instagram to make the announcement. There was also some cool new images that were shared of Harley Quinn and Joker from the upcoming sequel which arrives next year. And this sequel, Joker 2, will be mostly set in Arkham Asylum as previously been reported and it will tell the mad love storyline of course that goes on between Arthur Fleck and his corruption on a nurse who will become his deranged lover named Harley Quinn. Now the film will have a musical aspect to it which many people were concerned about instantly upon we upon learning of this of this little tidbit about the film however it's expected to be more like a star is born and not as much as like Greece or I think the other movie that was mentioned was in the heights I'm mostly intrigued to see the chemistry between Gaga and Phoenix or lack of chemistry if that happens as well but I'm confident this sequel will shock people in a very good way the images that give a better look at Gaga's take on Harley might be lackluster to some but I'm pleased with it for the most part I do think it is in line with the more realistic approach that these movies are going with and I do think I previously saw a set image of Gaga going up those infamous stairs where we know we have that iconic dance sequence in the original film. So I guess Harley Quinn is going to give us her own rendition in the upcoming sequel as well. And that's something that I'm excited to see. I cannot wait to see Joker 2 next year. Can't wait to see what Lady Gaga is able to do in the role. I'm excited to see everyone's reaction to Gaga and her performance in the role. Because I remember when she was first announced, everybody was like, oh, that's not Margot Robbie. My thing is, I don't know why many people were expecting Margot Robbie to be back. I'm not saying that I didn't previously have some speculation that maybe they'll bring her in, but I mean, sincerely considering how this is supposed to be separate from those other films, the Suicide Squad and everything she's done with that, why would they bring her in for this? <laughs> but diving into Five Nights at Freddy's, Jason Blum has confirmed that Five Nights at Freddy's will release in theaters later this year in a tweet he shared last night. Bloody Disgusting is also reporting on the topic as well. Universal Pictures will release Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's in theaters on Friday, October 27, 2023. The film will also premiere day and date with theatrical on Peacock. So they're taking the Halloween ends release strategy here as well. The film is following a troubled security guard as he begins working at Freddy's at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. While spending his first night on the job, he realizes the night shift at Freddy's won't be so easy to make it through. Matthew Lillard and Josh Hutcherson will be starring alongside Elizabeth Lyle, Piper Rubio, Kat Sterling, and Stuart Masterson. Now, what I found to be interesting with this announcement is that this film will now be going head to head with Saw X. And I will say this, I don't think Jigsaw can beat this film. 
due to the popularity surrounding the concept and i know a lot of people have been clamoring for this movie i myself again i used to play these games when i was a kid i don't again play them now obviously and i'm not the biggest fan of this i just am very familiar with those games from when i played them I don't think Jigsaw can outdo what this film is going to do at the box office in the opening weekend. I think the popularity surrounding the concept and once that trailer drops, I'm sure that would only make it more challenging for whatever new game John has cooked up to beat Freddy. But for horror fans who don't care either way, one way or another, who you're going to go out and see both movies that week in October, that's going to be a fun weekend for those horror fans because you're going to get to see the return of Jigsaw and then you can turn right around and go see Five Nights at Freddy's. And, of course, with Matthew Lillard back in the mix, I don't know when the last time it was Matthew Lillard was on the big screen in a horror movie. It might have been more recently, and I can't remember it, but that's also something I'm excited for, the return of Matthew Lillard on the big screen in a horror project. But you guys can let me know what you think about this. Are you excited for Five Nights at Freddy's coming out this October? What did you think about Jason Blum's announcement? Because he had been teasing it for a few days now and i don't think the the announcement was lackluster in any way but lastly talking about shrek 5 so shrek 5 is officially in the works according to the illumination ceo chris melodandry who has revealed this to variety by mentioning that negotiations are underway to have cameron diaz mike myers and eddie murphy return to their iconic roles from the series he states we anticipate the cast coming back talks are starting out and every indication that we've gotten is there's tremendous enthusiasm on behalf of the actors to return I mean, if I recall correctly, Eddie Murphy did express interest in doing another film. I think it was this past January. So if anyone is all but confirmed, in my opinion, it's Eddie. Eddie said he would do another one in a heartbeat or in a quick second. He even went on to say, I think that they should have done a donkey spinoff movie and not Puss in Boots. Or they should have done a donkey spinoff if they're doing Puss in Boots because he thinks donkey is much funnier than Puss in Boots. I, I can't disagree there. I just want a story that is better than four. And something more in line with those first two movies because the second Shrek is one of the most memorable childhood theatrical experiences I still recall to this very day. I am a lifelong Shrek fan. I'm eager to see this new film and the updated animation style that I'm sure will be applied. And I'm excited to see this project advance moving forward. There were several opportunities in the past to talk about this, but before now, everything just seemed like rumors and speculation and just denials of another one happening. But now we know that one is getting closer to happening. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think about all this. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.